Hey, Biz Bestie. This is the first of three videos that I'm sharing the exact tech tools you need to run your coaching business at every stage. So whether you're just starting out or you're growing your client list or you're looking to scale, I'm going to be sharing the tools you should be using. So stay tuned. In case we haven't met, I'm Sade Johnson and I'm a tech strategist helping non-techie coaches just like you to ditch the tech overwhelm so you can get more clients with ease. On this channel, I'm teaching you how to choose and use all of the behind the scenes tech that goes along with having a successful online coaching business. So if that sounds like what you need, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that I post every Thursday here on YouTube. So I've broken up the stages of business into three stages. That's why there's three videos. So this video will cover the starter phase, which is when you're starting from scratch and you have approximately zero to three clients. The second video will cover what I call the growing phase, which is when you have between four and 10 clients. And the final third video will cover what I call the scaling phase, which is when you have more than 10 clients and you are ready to scale and have an even greater impact. I'll link the other two videos in the description box below as they become available. So first up is the starter phase. And like I mentioned, that's when you have roughly zero to three clients and you're really in hustle mode. So during this time, it's easy to want to sign up for all the things and you tend to get the shiny ob object syndrome. However, less is really more in this phase because most of your energy really should be focused on signing that first client. So what tools do you need? There's actually only three of them. So the first tool is going to be Zoom. You'll be using Zoom to meet with your potential clients for discovery calls. And obviously you could use the phone, but seeing someone face to face generally gives a better connection to them. So you can really better gauge if they're the right fit for your program. You'll also be using Zoom with that same client once they've signed up to have your coaching sessions with them. If for some reason, you know, they only want to do audio, Zoom is great for audio too. You can just turn the video off and you can just be talking to each other, but it avoids an actual phone call. <laughs> the second tool is a calendar scheduler. A lot of coaches skip this step in the beginning and they just manually set up appointments for their discovery calls. But I completely advise against this because it can get real crazy real quick. Because if you're talking to multiple leads in your DMs and they finally ask you how to get on a call with you or you invite them to a discovery call, you're going to look super professional and prepared when you say, sure, here's the link to my calendar. Go ahead and pick a time that works best for you. So having that link set up is going to avoid a ton of back and forth with the when are you available and what time zone are you in? And most importantly, it's going to avoid double bookings, which is not fun to deal with, especially when it comes from a customer service standpoint. My favorite standalone cal calendar scheduler is called Calendly. It's very user friendly and it even integrates with Zoom. So when someone books a call with you via your Calendly calendar link, Link, a Zoom link is automatically sent to them and to you so that you're ready to click. They're ready to click on it when the time call comes for the call. Plus, if they need to cancel or reschedule, the links to do that are automatically sent to them when they book. So all around, you're starting your automation phase in your business, and it's going to save you so much time and so much uh, back end hassle. The last tool that you need in this starter phase of your coaching business is a way to get paid. That's arguably the most important tool here. <laughs> so depending on where you live, your options may be different. But here in the US, generally speaking, PayPal, Square or Stripe will work just fine. You just set up your account, you get your payment link, and then you send it to your client once they've agreed to start working with you. So there you have it. The only three tech tools that you need to get your coaching business started. Those are Zoom, Calendly and Stripe or another payment gateway. 
So to learn about more of the tech tools that you need in your coaching business, be sure to check out parts two and three of this series. And if you want to go even further, you can download my behind the scenes tech roadmap for coaches at shadejohnson.com slash roadmap. Let me know in the comments where you are in your coaching business journey and whether or not you'll be using these tools. I can't wait to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my future videos just like this one that I post every Thursday. And if you have a biz bestie that would benefit from this info, be sure to share it with her. I'll see you next time. Bye.